I'm still going up against teams in solo. That's that's nice. Here's what we do, right? Take this nade. And we yeet it over here. Like this. And with its sound cue. I think I... I think I actually killed him. You know, I kind of feel like I'm committing some kind of cardinal sin by playing this game right now. Because Arena Breakout Infinite released to some... It released to early access this past week, but it released to some heavy, deep, deep drama. Uh, it... The game came out. I've been I've been waiting to play this game, dude. I'm already shaking, by the way. I'm I'm playing with the the M4. I came in with uh, no fear whatsoever. Just this is my first raid. Actually, sorry, second raid because I needed to do the intro tutorial one. It just straight off the bat, I'm using this M4 that I had in my uh, in my sash, and I'm already shaking. I miss this feeling. I genuinely miss this feeling. This setup, this kit that I have, is actually worth like what. Freaking three, four, five, maybe five hundred thousand dollars. So it's a pretty expensive uh, kit. I don't want to lose it. <laughs> oh, he's on top of it. Okay, we're good. What's my zero, by the way? Did they mess that zero up? I feel a sense of responsibility though when it when it comes to this game because this, it, I was very excited for this game and I've been waiting to play it because I enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. When it was out in uh, in the beta. Oh, you can't peek over here now? Oh, that is bad. My legs are exposed. I played it a lot. Like an unhealthy amount. And then they go and do the, they do this like freaking... Can I get up? Thank you. The AI are so vocal now, man. Like, they make a lot of noise. I mistake them for players all the time now. In any case, I was debating whether or not I should even play this game because they made some moves, this whole paid to pay for convenience crap that they're doing is like stuff that I don't agree with. And regardless on whether or not what side you, you were on on that fence, on that on that argument, it's uh, it was one that I really did not agree with. And I was like, dude, I shouldn't even play this game. I should make a video on it. Essentially what's going on is they set up this uh, pay for convenience type BS is what they call it, which is like, dude, just, come on, man, just call it what it is. Just pay, pay to win. That's all it is, man. Currently in the game, you're, you're able to buy coin, which is the in-game currency with real money. And with that currency, you can essentially buy what is this gear. So for example, this gear that I have on my body right now, on my person, this helmet, this level 4 helmet, this M4, the ammo, everything about my character right now, I can buy with uh, with real money. I can spend real money to pay to win, essentially, because there's, like, this game is heavy, like, loot intensive. The higher gear, the higher tier loot that you have in the game, the better your odds are of surviving and actually making something of the raid, winning a battle. To, to put it into perspective, if I had, like, what's called a biker helmet in this game, um, it's a little white helmet. It's a little motorcycle white helmet. That's, like, probably the best, the, um, best, ar oh, I hear gunshots. Best helmet in the game. If I had that with my current ammo, right, this is T3. Someone in my lobby comes up with a biker helmet. It's going to take me at minimum, like, 20 bullets to the head to just break his armor. Just break his to the head, right? And then like think that people can come in and just get that and buy it with real money. It's it's kind of frustrating. It, it's you can see how that that's you know they call it pay for convenience, but it's you can see how that could be called as like pay to win, right? Because like I would stand no chance. This isn't going to be my full like quote unquote review of the situation or like my commentary video of it. I was debating on whether or not I should make that video, but. Dude, I just wanted to play the game. I really miss this. It, it regardless on the whole drama and ooh, BP, nice. Uh, regardless on everything that's going on, it is still an excellent game. It, it's still probably the best um, free version of Tarkov. I guess is probably the best way to put it. There was gunshots over there. Let's go over. Check it out. Why not? Not even just not even just free version of Tarkov though. It's also probably the best free to play extraction shooter currently out there. I had it. I had I played it like an unhealthy amount when it was in in, in beta. 
So I was excited to come out here and, and play the game. I should be careful in these woods, actually. Yeah, I don't know quite what the, like the changes that they made to this game. and Because uh, it used to be where you would get into PvP, like almost straight off the rip, right? The, the spawns were very predictable. They said that they made changes to that. And it's no longer... I'm not going to go towards a motel, actually. They said they made changes to that. It's no longer that... Um, close to each other they made those good change which is good this is good like it was the pvp was like way way too too close Ooh, they may change this, this this area as well anyway continuing with the conversation of that that whole drama you could see one thing i wanted to put out is that both sides of the argument I know it's going to sound like a freaking, this is a safe take, you seem. It's a very safe take. No, it's like, think about it logically. Both sides of the argument actually make sense. Really, they really do. Okay, there's ways you can defend pay to this pay for convenience in this game. And I'll explain that a little bit. I mean, there's no need for me to ex explain the whole side of why it shouldn't exist in the game. Because like, that's pretty obvious. But the argument that why it should does someone already have a sniper? I I was gonna push up in the farm, but I think there was a guy back here with a sniper. You know, I'm really risking it for the biscuit right now, dude, with this uh with this gear and this loot. Five hundred thousand uh plus hit. And I'm just like talking over it is really hard to hear footsteps, by the way, when I'm commentating. Oh, there he is, I heard him. So, I, like, the chances of me dying are very high here. There's no doubt about that. Let me rotate a little bit over here. Get a little bit closer to this guy. While I'm while I'm waiting, you know, before we continue that conversation, I want to say, like, this isn't... I think I said it before, if, if I don't cut it out, but, like, this isn't my full, quote-unquote, review of the whole situation, because, like, <laughs> let's be honest, who cares about my review about this whole drama? But... I do have some thoughts on it. it I, I did want to. I did want to mention, like, if you guys would be interested in an explanation, like a commentary type video on that, let me know. And while let me know, in, let me know in the comments. And like, while you're down there, write what you feel. Like, comment how you feel about the whole situation in this pay to win. Because my stance, I think it's pretty damn obvious on like what side of the fence I stand. Speaking of fence, <laughs> I'm literally on this side of the fence. Uh, what side of the fence that I stand on? Like, I am completely against it. And there, there are numerous reasons why, and I'd love to explain it, but like that's something I would need to sit down and have full focus on to, to get my ideas across and without having the distraction of actually trying to live in this extraction shooter with 500 plus thousand dollars on the line right now, dude. I would like to get into some PvP, preferably not against biker helmets. I am actually sweating though right now. Like I said, like I miss this feeling and my hands have been shaking since the beginning. I don't know if you guys can see it in my aim, can you? My head's in the shade since the beginning of this raid, dude. Not tears, I got sweat drops down my ball to the wall! You know what, screw it. What do we have to lose, right? What do we have to lose? The reason why I brought in this M4 to begin with is because like, dude, we actually have nothing to lose. If we die, we just go, you know, swipe, swipe with daddy's credit card, boom. Back on the field. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, no need to worry at all. Like there's no gear here. Nothing to lose. We're going to charge in and go die instantly and then complain that the uh, pay to win aspect is. There's <laughs> one tap that bot. Get on my level, bot. You trash. So explaining. Ooh, smoke grenade. That's good. And a flashbang. Take those. Uh, Molly kind of sucks. Explaining the whole, uh, like, how that argument. Most gamers, like your average Joe is probably gonna have like, let's say, let's say two to four hours a week to spend on any given game, right? That's like their, the, the average. They're, they, they got other things to do. They got a life, they got maybe a wife, kids, job, family, friends, so on and so forth. So what they don't have is time. If they get into a raid, if they, if they hop into this game, when most streamers or content creators or like people who can spend the time to actually play this game, like a lot more than that let's say they play it like maybe an average of an hour two hours a day they can get in here and rank up 
build up their stash, build up their inventory, no problem at all. But your average Joe might not have that uh that time on his hands. Just had to mark that real quick. So if they if they get into a raid, right? They hop on the weekends. The weekends is when they most when they have the most time to play. They're gonna play with their friends, hop on Discord and 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 play that just for like maybe two hours a week while everyone else has been playing for like a week, two weeks, and they've already built up a stash. They already got like tier five, tier six, uh, ammo, gear, and crap. You can see what is that? That's a new thing. Two hundred and sixty grand and an damn. So they need to play. They need to play catch up, right? They uh they they haven't been playing. They don't have the time to play for it. But what they do have is they have some money, a little bit of disposable income on the side. They have the money to exchange for time. They don't have time, but they have the money. They you can see how that side of the argument could kind of make sense if if you're someone in that position where they don't have all the time in the world to play. Someone has been through here, and I thought I saw him through the bushes over there. Is it right? though for them to exchange the, their money for that time i don't know it's it's whatever you want to spend your money on is is your decision i'm not gonna judge people for spending money on, on like convenience at factors in a game everybody's time is different everybody's time is worth different values it's not the person's fault who spends the money on the game it's the companies for allowing and designing the games to to do that I think it's messed up to even put that type of feature in your game. You shouldn't do that because if it's in there, no matter what people think, no matter what the general populace thinks about it, no matter how it's going to affect the game, people are still going to spend the money. It's kind of a, it builds and feeds off itself. If there's even like a few people, a small percentage of the population who chooses to do it in the beginning, that's going to affect the game. That's going to affect everyone else's decisions because, oh, that... Damn it, dude. Can I run into, like, an actual enemy? For God's sake, man. Those small, uh, that, that small percentage of people who chose to do it are now going to be influencing everybody else because everybody else, because, like, they're going to, people are going to run into the people who have spent money on the game and get destroyed. And they're going to be like, oh, well, now I, I have no chance. It's, you know, it's not fair to play up against people like that. So I'm going to spend money on the game now. And then they're going to run into more people, destroy them. And then those people that got destroyed are going to spend money on the game because it, it it's a freaking, it feeds off of itself, man. It's such a disgusting way to monetize your game, man. Hello, I'm Vladlin. Yeah, that was, <laughs> hello, I am Vladlin. Wait, does that play every time I... If you've got something... If you need... If you... If you... What? things you brought today? Yeah, that needs to go, bro. Every time I click, I want to hear that. That's BS. All right, new raid. We do the uh, OG strat. Push the spawns right off the rip. All right? If you're from the beta, you know. You go straight this way. Into this area. Or you can go around over there. I will say, dude... Things have gotten very expensive in this game. Like, <laughs> the fact that people can buy things in game now means that everything... <laughs> Dude, the price of everything is so inflated. Everything from the ammo to, like, the goddamn these small things like glasses. It's so expensive now, man. You go into right everything, it's more than double now. It's more than double what it used to be. They did kind of make up for it, though, by, uh... By, you know, giving you more starting cash. Because, like, I started out with 1.8 mil. In the bank already, which was nuts. And I I only had, like, 1.8 mil in the beta. By, like, freaking, what, halfway through the beta. So, there's more starting cash, I guess. Makes more sense. Oh, that's a freaking AI. Dude, god damn it, man. For God's sake, dude. Do I have to spend money to play against real players now? Is that is that like the new tactic? Is that how greedy Abby has become, dude? You want to play against real players? You want to play online multiplayer? Spend money on the game. Buy coin with your hard-earned cash. Man, screw you, dude. God damn it. Would they change the helicopter? This game, the thing about this, making video, like, I want to go get a fight at least. I know I'm going to die, and like, that's a terrible way to play the game. Just go out searching for fights. Can you still go up on this van? Oh, that, dude, they put that, okay, that's nice. 
That's good. It's hard to control the uh, the flow of the video playing playing games like this. So like, that's why this is a much longer form factor of a video, dude. Can I not get an AI, please? Good, 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 good. Yummy, 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 yummy loot. I can't control. Anyway, what I was saying is like I can't control the flow of the video when I. Frick me. Okay. All right. I wanted action. I wanted this, dude. I wanted this. There we go. Will he give me time to heal up? This could be interesting. And they were a team of two. I see that they haven't fixed the solo uh, mode. I'm still going up against teams in solo. That's that's nice. That's really awesome. Here's what we do, right? Take this nade. And we yeet it over here. Like this. And with its sound cue. I think I... I think I actually killed him. Dude, I just got a... Did I hit him with that nade? I'm gonna swing left. I'm gonna swing left. No way I actually hit him with that nade, though. Right? Let me check that mission. I killed him with the nade, dude! Actually, no way! My first kill in this game was with a nade. Oh, there he is. There we go. Hell yeah, dude. Okay, this is gonna be the problem though. I have no idea where I killed that other guy. Unless I killed that AI, which is probably not the case. I, by the way, I should probably reload my ammo. Welcome to Abby, buddy. Welcome to- Oh, he was right here. Okay, alright, alright, I'll take it. He wasn't that geared though. Does it show what I killed him with? With a GHO grenade. It was him. Nice. What a way. What a way to get back into Arena Breakout Infinite, dude. First kill was a nade. And, uh, where did this guy go? Hello? Oh, he's right here. Okay. These guys didn't have much. I, I mistake the... Ooh, okay, that's not bad. I will take that. GH2 as well. Thank you. Oh! Okay, I totally missed... I totally didn't see that FAL. God. Oh my god. Look at this backpack, man. Way to freaking go, dude. What a start. I'm still terrible, by the way, at um at at checking my inventory and managing that. I'm still absolutely atrocious at this, but I'm working on it. An FAL, dude. What a freaking start to my arena breakout journey, dude. Holy cow. I'm already overweight. That's awesome. <laughs> Get one kill. Sorry, two kills and then instantly overweight. This is the part of the story where I start sweating bullets and uh, end up dying to some random dude hiding in a bush somewhere and just handing off this loot to someone else. Dude, scopes, by the way, are incredibly expensive right now. That one I just took off, that one, that like reflex scope, it's 11 grand, man. For a puny little scope, dude. Uh, when I say things have got, like, inflation has hit, inflation has hit, dude. It's like McDonald's in 2024 right now. Do you get fried? By the way, I went I went to McDonald's. I should probably not speak so loud because I still want to hear footsteps. <laughs> I went to McDonald's, like, a couple weeks ago, and I wanted to get some fries, dude. I walked out the store as soon as I <laughs> looked at the menu. Dude. Fries? A regular size fry at McDonald's is like seven bucks now. 
by itself. I'm not joking. That is ridiculously. Dude, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm getting, dude, I swear to God, I'm getting schizophrenic right now. I'm hearing things. Hey, I got a mission. Nice. On the mini map, it is, uh, see how it's red? That means that there's a, there's a potential chance for a boss to spawn. So that's why that's red. If we take a quick peek over here, I don't want to fight on bosses right now. Like that is not. Yep. There we go. There we go. I heard him over here. He's in the bushes on my left side. Please tell me that was AI. If I just like pretend like that didn't exist, just keep running. How's that? How's that sound? It doesn't exist, dude. Smile and wave. Smile and wave. Yes. Okay. Just nobody snipe me, please. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Two more seconds. Yes, and we're out. What a hell of a raid, dude. Hell of a freaking start. 615,000 for the first video, dude. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.